<laughs> Hello, friends. Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. Today, we're stepping out of the shower. We got fragrances that smell fresh, that smell clean, that smell classy. And as an added bonus, most of the fragrances I'm going to talk to you about here today, keep this between us. Pretty cheap, pretty freaking cheap. Assuming you shop at discounters, which is probably what you should be doing, unless you have walking around money and you just don't care. And then you knock yourself out, man. Buy it wherever you want. All of these are designer fragrances. All of them gonna have you smelling amazing. Let's check them out. As always, guys, got them linked down there in the description. And I am biased, but you know what fragrance would be great? In this list, Blue Ridge, <laughs> which uh, I creatively directed, perfumed by Fabrice Pellegrin. This one you can pick up at every single Perfumania, every single fragrance outlet in the country. It's my scent of the day, I guess. Yep. Alternatively, you can order it online, linked in the description, the code GENT. Sense get you 20% off your order. All right, let's jump into this stuff. Let's get it going. No particular order. The first fragrance, Nautica Voyage. This is the fragrance that I think it's like a prerequisite. Every single person that starts getting into fragrances, they learn about Nautica Voyage first, or it's one of the first fragrances they learn about. I don't know why. It's just like written in the book of fragrance somewhere. It's like looking through there. Thou shalt learn about Nautica Voyage as an affordable cheapie that you can buy at TJ Maxx or online. Hmm, that's a weird commandment, okay. But that's how it seems to be. So this one is a little green, obviously aquatic, very fresh and absolutely gonna have you smelling like you stepped out of a shower. It is quite inexpensive as all Nautica fragrances should be. And it is uh, heralded as one of, if not the best, beginning cheapy scents for summer or has been for quite a while anyway. From there, let's hop on over to a new Calvin Klein. It is Eternity for Men, Summer Days. And this is one that I surprisingly liked because I was pretty certain going into it when I got this that I wasn't gonna dig it, but it was very inexpensive and I thought, you know, heck with it, why not? Some Eternity flankers are pretty good. And surprisingly, this one was. Shame on me for judging it before I got it in. So this one has mandarin and mint, along with a bit of calypso as notes in the fragrance. It's an aquatic scent, but it has a decent amount of sweetness in there from the opening and into the dry down. It is really difficult, I feel like, to dislike eternity summer days. Maybe if you've smelled a ton of fragrances, it won't blow your mind or anything, but at the price point that you can pick this up for, it is ultra solid. Great summertime choice, which makes sense. It's called summer days. Low hanging fruit. After that, Lacoste L1212 Eau Fraiche. I think technically the name of this one is Eau de Lacoste L1212 Eau Fraiche. Y yeah. It's got a pretty recognizable bottle. If you look for this one, you'll know which one it is. So the L1212 line has always had, in my opinion, some kind of like under the radar fragrances, hidden gem cheapies, if you want to call them that, because they're usually pretty well done, actually. Can't get the cap off. And this one, especially for the price point you can pick it up for now, is a steal because you can get a 50 mil of this for under $25 as of this video. That's cheap, man. That's, that's real cheap. Especially right now with inflation. <laughs> Hey, 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 ain't nothing cheap anymore, man. Like you go to McDonald's nowadays, you're like, hey man, uh, I don't got too much money. Can I get a, can I get the Happy Meal? Oh yeah, the Happy Meal. Yeah, it'd be 12 bucks. <laughs> I don't think it's actually 12 bucks, but it feels like it. So anyway, back to this, back to fragrances. No more dread about inflation. This one has lemon water notes. It's got lemon cello as well, doubling up on the lemon there. And a little green flair to it, which you'd expect looking at that bottle. Stuff smells great. Really, really overlooked. Performance is not beast mode, but again, it's eau de la coste, eau fraiche. So I don't know why I was oh emphasizing that, but yeah, it's uh, 25 bucks, ultra fresh, great limoncello note, and uh, very mm. fresh and clean, perfect for summertime once again. From there, let's do this one, Ferragamo Aqua Essenziale Colonia. This one has more of a, a classy, kind of sophisticated vibe to it, kind of like a, an Italian style cologne mm. a la Aqua de Parma. Colonia. That's the thing for this video? I mean, it is addictive. Has a really nice herbal aromatic flair to it. Also kind of an aquatic feel. Bit of citrus in there off the top as well. This is one that has been pretty affordable since it came out. Quite cheap at discounters. It has been a little bit harder to find here lately, but when it's in stock, it still is pretty cheap. 
After that one, one from my friends at Michael Malul from their Katora line, it is San Lucas. Technically, 831 San Lucas. So this one is going to have more of a tropical flair to it as compared to the last four fragrances. So if you're looking for just straight up clean clean, that would be more the Ferragamo, the Nautica, maybe the Lacoste. This one is going to have like some tropical sweetness to it. It's got apple leaf as one of the notes off the top. Then it has cardamom, bergamot, iris, some lavender in there as well as it dries down. It's got a really great kind of mass appeal to it. Very fruity sweet initially. Then as it dries down, some Tonka, some woods, uh, very clean woods. Makes a really good fragrance for transitioning from daytime to nighttime during the summer, and it still does have that fresh, clean edge to it, just more of that sweetness in this one as compared to some of the others. After that, let's talk about Tommy Bahama. Very cool. <laughs> That's a good name, man. If you know Tommy Bahama, you already know stuff is cheap, and it is. You also already know Eau de Cologne, performance, not that great. Yep. But that is the trade-off, right? You don't have to pay that much for it. And you already know it's an Eau de Cologne going in. They're not trying to hide it. They're not trying to tell you, hey, man, this is an Eau de Parfum Intense. And you spray it on, and it's gone in a few hours, and you feel ripped off. No, they're telling you. They're like, bro. It's an Oda clone. What do you want from me? It's Tommy Bahama, man. Come on. Why are you mad? Because it didn't last for 12 hours. What's wrong with you? You're the problem here. They're letting you know. This one is one that you can find in that $20 price range. You know, 20, 25 bucks. It's got a good amount of ginger and citrus off the top. It does have kind of an icy feeling. Icy, fresh, extremely clean, uplifting, reinvigorating. Uh, it's got some vetiver in there as it dries down. Obviously, this is not going to be like a smoky, rich, deep, grassy vetiver. No, it's more just a... Uh, you know, clean, pretty basic vetiver, but it smells nice. Really easy to wear stuff, just extremely easy going. Brisk, fresh, clean, and because it is an eau de cologne and it's extremely cheap, you can spray the heck out of this stuff. So, I mean, this is one of those ones legitimately hit yourself with 20, 25 sprays, man. Who cares? Load down your clothing, spray it in your hair, whatever. Get that extra bit of performance out of it. Get that extra projection. It smells nice. Overlooked, because most people go St. Bart's or St. Kitts or Martin but this stuff is good too. After that one, let's go a little, little different direction. Prada Lunarosa, the original Lunarosa, which is kind of been uh, overshadowed nowadays, huh? Lunarosa Carbon, Lunarosa Black, Lunarosa Ocean. Yeah, original Lunarosa. Not too much love for you anymore, I don't think. Still good though. So this one has lavender, good amount of it. It's got bitter orange, it has mint. So this one is gonna be more of like a, an aromatic, slightly powdery, semi-soapy kind of fragrance. So a different take on an out of the shower scent as compared to some of the ones that we've spoken about in this video already. I'd say that this one and the Ferragamo are gonna be the classiest two fragrances that I've spoken about so far in this video. So if you're looking for one that's gonna be like an office scent as well as a casual scent, you know, multiple uses instead of just being a fresh, clean, daytime, easy going scent, Luna Rosa is gonna fill that, that need really well. And this is the new style bottle. I also have the old style bottle as well where it looked kind like a little metal cage. So either one is the same fragrance. From there, let's go to Hugo with Hugo Reversed. This one, when it first came out, I didn't think was a, a great buy at retail. But nowadays, another one that thankfully at discounters is pretty cheap. And at the price point that you can get it for nowadays, I think it's a great buy. It's been compared to Raja Parfum's Elysium. So you could think of it as like a discount iteration of that fragrance, you know, where it hits on like the main points of Elysium, but leaves out a lot of the filler. So it's like the Cliff's Notes version of Elysium. You could think of it like that. Like a lot of the stuff that gives it nuance and body. <laughs> Get that out of here. We only need the highlights. That's it, baby. It is another one that's very fresh and brisk off the top. Nice citrus in there. Very clean and also has an aromatic touch to it, which is just going to give you that additional kind of pop. No breakdown. Super simple. Grapefruit, bergamot, rosemary, vetiver. That's pretty much it. Price point nowadays, about 30 bucks. Great daytime scent for spring and summertime. And as I said, kind of a discount iteration on Elysium. Very obvious one up next, Versace Pour Homme. Gotta, gotta, gotta put this one in here. I love this stuff, man. I love Versace Pour Homme. I wore this stuff a ton. I wore it to the office a bunch. Wore it during the summer a bunch. Extremely versatile. People love it. It's extremely fresh and bright off the top. It's got this like sparkle to it. And then some clean florals in there as it dries down. It's another one that sometimes gets over overlooked nowadays because it's been out for a little while and 
it's been affordable at Discounters for a while. And when you have a whole bunch of new things coming out every single year, you know, some things that used to be the hot new thing, they stop being talked about quite as much. But Versace Pour Homme is still an amazing scent. If you're looking for something for not a high price with an extremely classy presentation that works doubly well as an office fragrance, just like some of these others, but also well during the evening in the summer or casually in the summer, check this stuff out. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up, it's a little bit similar to Chanel Allure Homme Sport or Missoni Wave. So if you like this fragrance, check those ones out as well. We are at the final fragrance in this list. It's from Ralph Lauren, Deep Blue Parfum. Yeah, I dig this stuff. Different kind of take. Again, this one has a woody undertone that comes through much more clearly than in any of the other fragrances that we've talked about. So it has cypress in there. It has fur resin. It has a good amount of aquatic notes. It has green mango off the top. So slightly different opening, but citrus in there with the mango as well. And then it has aromatics in there and you can pick those up pretty much right away also. So this one is gonna have a little more depth to it compared to some of the other ones. Some of the other ones are more just just fresh and clean and fresh and clean from the opening into the dry down. This one is gonna have a little more oomph to it as it does dry down and those fresher notes in the top start to fade away. It does become more of that woody aromatic scent profile, but still very clean, very fresh also. Good summertime choice and another one that would work well during the evening. Definitely thought of more as a daytime scent, but it has the capability. It's got the, the possibility to be worn during the evening and smell. Real good. So there we go, guys. 10 different fragrances. Gonna have you smelling fresh and clean like you step straight out of the shower. Know a lot of people, especially during the summer when it gets really hot, really humid outside, they just don't wanna mess around, you know? Just wanna smell nice, clean, fresh. Keep it simple, keep it nice. There's nothing wrong with that. So there we go, 10 options. I could do probably 30 more. Maybe if I get time this summer, I'll do another one with 10 other fragrances. But for now, that'll do it. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later. You look good. I see you've been losing weight. You look nice. Keep it up.